Yo, this is Bread and Butter. So today we're gonna talk about an important part of the sneaker culture, the reselling game. Me being from the DMV area, I wanted to get an important reseller in the game, not just locally, but in the in nationwide. Uh, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. What's going on, y'all? My name is So Trill. Um, IG, Facebook. Uh, what else? I got the website, all that. So yeah, no, no. I appreciate you coming on, brother. Um, so real quick, man, I wanted to ask you. Um, so Socho, you being in the in the sneaker game, I, I want to tell everybody how you got into the sneaker game, how long you've been doing it for, and uh, just a little bit about that, you know. Um, as far as legitimately reselling, well, let me start. I started collecting probably. 10th grade, so that's probably 2001, 2001, 2002. Yeah, we're, like, we're like the same age. I started collecting, yeah, we're not divulging our ages, but yeah. <laughs> since 2001, 2002, I've been collecting, but as far as reselling, I say my senior year, if I was, so 2004. So 2004 is when I you started start, reselling. Start lightly, right? That's when I started lightly, because it started from like when the homies we're, or too, we're too scared to skip school, or they didn't have the, the proper funds. Cause so, you, so, you've always, so you've always been doing it? Like, as far as, uh, I never knew that I was reselling until like, I say, I ain't really know I was reselling until probably like a couple years after high school. So 2004, which was, 2004, if we go back. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. 2004, yeah. 2005, Jordans were in. Yeah, Jordans were Jordans were in. Nike SBs was starting with the pink box era. SBs, uh, Air Force Ones, phones, posits. Us being from this DMV yeah, area, phone, phone posits, posits, important phone flight posits, posits. Jays, that was the biggest. Thing Basketball ever, sneakers, like, yeah. basically. Yeah, anything signature. That was anything thing, signature. Like, Barclays. Like, Barclays. I can shoot. I can even say. I mean, we said we spoke on Air Force One. Shoot, I remember everybody was wearing the, the three quarters. The three quarters, yeah. I had three quarters, and you was more worried about making the, make sure the strap don't get limp. Yeah. So where it just hang on the side, you gotta make sure you tie it in somehow. And so like from from cats that aren't from like the DMV area, the mid quarters are mid the mids. Yeah, the mids. The, the mids, mids with the, the straps. Yeah, three quarters probably for all my NY up top people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the uptown people, a lot of them hate that. Yeah, hate the mids. Yeah. I love yeah. mids. I was listening to the Jim Jones mixtape. He was like, he never did the three quarters. Yeah, nobody likes a lot of like, it was either lows. That was it. Jersey heads, New York heads, Boston, like the upper northern cast, the Philly, Philly cast did mids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, they all had Baltimore. different like flaves, uptown. The flaves, the uptown. I and drug dealers were what? The phone posits? Yeah, the drug dealers were um, phones, New Balances. So, you know, we, the DMV era, uh, love New they Balances. They New Balances. 990s, 999, 998s. Not, not, not too many people mess with the 574s. I did, but the 990s or the Well, 574s are that dope because you could just throw them on with like some sweats and jeans, like right? the everyday... DMV or just for the Maryland DC crew is usually nine nine nines, nine nine eights. And that was that. What um so what what sneakers like what sneaker for you made you fall in love with like damn this this this, uh, is, this is what I wanna do? Jordans for the But it had to be one, bro. Um the elevens. Okay. And I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody's going say the 11s. Yeah. Actually, yeah, uh, my favorite colors is black and red. I think I think the bread, the first time I ever saw, I mean, I've been collecting heavy prices since like 98, 99. The first yeah. time I ever saw like a, like a real line mm -hmm. must have been that 2001 bread. What, remember that line? The hype is about the new Air Jordan. We got them, the famous <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite, well, I ain't gonna say, I, I started when I was younger. My godmother, she used to work at uh, a fashion store, a fashion retail store. Okay. And the first pair of shoes I got from her were a pair of bread fours. And this is when I was a child, so it was probably like early 90s. And I know you was little, you used to look I, at I didn't know what the hell I was wearing. Oh, okay. But once, when I was going through stuff and I seen the shoe, I was like, Okay, she she was hip. Yeah, yeah. And I ain't know. I was, I'm just a kid wearing shoes. But my first pair of shoes I had literally bought with my own money when I was in sixth grade was the Cherry Thirteens, and I wore that with with anything. Yeah, but then and at the time it was yeah, ninety nine. It was ninety nine dollars. 
Yeah. So anything a size 100, six. hundred, hundred, yeah, hundred. Anything, any, anything under a size six was a hundred dollars. But once you hit that that six and a half, it was it goes up twenty. Yeah. So, my first pair of shoes I bought with my own money was the Cherry Thirteens, and uh, in high in uh, middle school because I made the basketball team. And you bought them shits. I, I bought. I, I wore them with. I wore them with brown jeans. I wore them with a green shirt. And Directly, right? I wore. I wore them shoes with anything just because it was a pair of J's, and he was rocking them at that time. And um, then my second pair of shoes was like a team, like a Jumpman Team Pro. Like a like a Vin Baker, yeah. like one of them Vin Baker. It was the, it was the Eddie, Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones. The Eddie Jones. Dog. Yeah, Eddie Jones. Yeah, people were probably. This is when he was playing with the Lakers. Damn, so it was like a purple, was a black, white, black and purple jumps? Yeah, oh, drum man. man. Drum man pros. Yo, I, team, I, I'm not going to lie, man. I think the the old Randy Mosses, all them Team Jordans, the Ben Bakers, the, um, yeah. the what is it, the, the, the Eddie, Jones, Eddie Jones, all them. I wish Ray Allen would have had more, more right? Yeah, he was wearing more of the signature. Line, yeah, though. but he was wearing his, all the that. The best ones for me was, was the Super Freaks. Uh, super Freaks, the Randy Mosses? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the white black, the white, the black, white. The white and black ones, the all black ones. it's crazy how they yeah. sat when they re-released them, dog. Remember that? Yeah. We had them at Springfield, and they just, them things were just, just on the sad. shelves. Yeah, that's where I met you. So, yeah, 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 definitely. We, are, we go way back, brother. Boy, and let me ask you a question. So what, so around 05, 06, I mean, I know you graduated high school. Mm -hmm. And you wasn't doing this full time, no, right? No, 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 no. What around what like what year do you say you was like, yo, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm. Well, what started, what what made me start is when, like I said, like back in them days when not too many of my friends had jobs, so we was more likely just second birth from allowances or doing yard work. Okay. So at the time when I was getting, I, I had a job working two days a week and yeah. all that money. If I wasn't putting in, like, gas at the time was like 79 cents. So I was just, I would stack <laughs> my days, money. Bro. Yeah, I would stack my money and just put that in shoes. And then I would, like, get shoes. And then people, like, my friends were like, yo, you wouldn't have another size nine because I was a size nine at the time. They was like, oh, you won't have another nine or nine. Back, I put it like this. Back in the days, a lot of the people from school would borrow shoes. I was tripping, man. You want me to ask for my bike back? You know I wouldn't trip. You know you wanted it back, homie. It's right here. Like yeah. if, I, if I had some shoes and I know that you you couldn't get them at the time, but you still wanted to flex for like a day during school, I let you borrow some as long as I get something back in return. Yeah. Like I might wear a NASCAR jacket while you wearing my shoes, and we call it even. So if you wasn't able to get them and I had the money for, it, I'm like, all right, cool, just give me an extra twenty five, thirty dollars on top. Just for just for me going out my way, and it was like, all right, cool, and it was that's how I started. Like instead of like charging you like a hundred dollars, it was like twenty twenty five. Yeah, it was light. It was it light. Because like, you're light, my man. Yeah, you're my people. It's a light resale. So then that's how I started out. Now, I'm just in my head. I'm just looking out. I'm yeah. not even thinking about doing this for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when it started from one person, it went from one person to three, then from three to five. Word of mouth, basically. Word of mouth, like, oh. And this oh. wasn't this wasn't even like social media days. Nah, so this, like this is when around the time when MySpace, MySpace, ISS, Nike Talk, uh, Nike Talk. None of y'all will probably understand these forms that I'm talking about right now. Yeah. But ISS, Nike Talk. This is around the time when you send money orders to these people. You don't know these people from nothing. Yeah, man. But it was, I, uh, I'm sending you a money order. We didn't have apps. We didn't have a way at all. We had, no PayPal. We, we had dial up. Yeah. We had dollar and some people that had the bread had uh, DSL. But um, this is one time that even eBay, the, if you didn't have a PayPal account, you had to physically send either money in the envelope or send a uh, money order. And you don't know these people from nothing. But you had that much trust to get this shoe. That's the only way you could. And people would actually send in the shoes after you send them. It'd take a couple of days. but. I was sending money orders to pay for my shoes through Nike Talk, eBay, I ISS. Um, this is way before Craigslist. And and if I didn't have a shoe, I mean, I'm going to keep it funky. I borrowed shoes from some of my close friends just for the day. And like I said, I mean, that's how I started. Then, like, after, once I started getting, once I started realizing what I was doing, this is like around, I graduated 04. I say 06. 06. And that's the time when Nike started doing a lot of collabs. Yeah, collabs. Uh, I mean, 08 was the easy one. The easy, so we're looking yeah, at like Air, Air, Air Force I'm One collabs. The, the, biggest, the biggest shoe that got me into it was the DMP 611. 
the, okay. the final moment package. The the gold pack. That's the first I, the first combo pack ever. That's when I realized that this is something. Well, it was it was an animal. I I went to military circle. I went to rich. I went. I was at. Uh, Richmond. Richmond. You see? I was in, I was it was it South was crazy. And, and and if if you knew, you knew. Yeah. And the the way I knew, Nike talk, dog. Nobody. Nike talk. Nike, Nike talk, talk was like style, yo. In style shoes. Nike I didn't think in this area. I, I didn't really think that many people were gonna get them around here. So I lied. My sister was in college, uh -huh. and I said, "F it." Got in the whip. Yeah. And I was like, and I was able to get two packs that day, dog. I Even though it was a zoo, it was crazy. It was that was the first three hundred dollar package. Yeah, three hundred dollar pack. And if you didn't have an East Bay a East Bay magazine, you probably wouldn't have know. You probably wouldn't even know knew the release. Yeah. And I don't think East Bay sold it, sold nah. it, but you always had as long as you had that magazine sent to your house on a weekly, monthly basis, you knew, you was in the loop. Right? And it and it and it changed the game. And that that I love these. That's guys. when that's when the lineup started. That DMP pack after the, the DMPs. Yeah. Remember the Great Fives? Yeah, Great Fives. That's I remember not, there was that, a line. That was all five. That was yeah, all five. Yeah, Great I Fives. Um, but the, the, the first real, real line, I think, well, no, but remember, I was in the, the SB game, so I don't yeah, know if yeah, he was yeah. doing the SBs no, I reselling. Wasn't. I wasn't. But MF Doom's was crazy. Yeah. MF Doom line, the three bear line. Yeah, the Tiffany the line was the Tiffany, rip. Yeah. Tiffany Tiffany's line the three was, bears. In this um, area was the Tiffany line. It was. But the, we had that, what, what's the Elite? Mm -hmm. and, it was, and it was a niche of people. It was like, it was, it was, it, it was a, enough. Yeah. Tune that new, yeah. but a, no, a lot. You was able. You it. was able to. No matter. You was able to get a pair. Of, if you lined up, you were, you you were you were kind of good, right? Yeah, that. And, um, I remember when oh one, when the bread elevens dropped. Yeah, the bread elevens. It was my birthday, so I usually on my birthday I get two pairs of shoes for my birthday, and it's at one year. One year it was the French blue sevens and the Raptor sevens. Okay. So both dropped yeah. on my birthday. I got those. The next year was the bread the bread elevens. I woke up late. It was like 11 o'clock. So I'm like, I'm panicking. I'm like, dog, I'm not getting, I ain't getting my shoes. So I drove to, well, my father and my, myself and my dad went to a, a sports zone in mm -hmm. Springfield. 11.30, 12 o'clock. Gone? No. No? They had my size, a nine and a half. Damn. And, and I was like, this is when they were $132, size nine and a half. So mind you, it was my birthday, so I was like, all right, I gotta, I gotta style out. So I got me a Jamal Anderson Falcons jersey, <laughs> uh, a Bread Eleven, and I think total ran up to a buck, one hundred and thirty, one hundred and eighty dollars mm -hmm. total. And I woke up dumbly thinking I was gonna miss out. And I went to the store and was able to get a nine and a half out of all sizes, get my shoe, retail. And, and, and it's it's crazy, man. So. Once you started going full time with this, with the reselling game, mm -hmm. you went full time, right? Let's say you made this as, as a um, career move. I didn't start making it a full time until recently, actually, because um, I always had like you know my nine to five job, yeah, yeah, you know, just to make sure. Because at that point in time, I was just but you were a reseller at the time, right? Yeah, yeah, always, yeah, yeah I, 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 like the so you having a full time job mm -hmm. and you. Taking this 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 reselling sneaker game more serious because yes. it is it, it's it's more it's a it's a hustle at one point in time yeah at one point in, okay at one, at point, one point, in, point in time it was just taking care of the inner circle okay but when the inner circle was being taken care of and then they started telling how they were getting them it word of mouth that's basically word of mouth. that's the be best form of promotion and you and and, and and it's, it's and it's crazy because people don't that don't live in this area in the D.C. Maryland Virginia area don't mm -hmm. realize. How big it is, but how small but it is. Yeah, how small it is. Because I live, I, I mean, we both, we both are from Northern Virginia, mm -hmm. but we know DC cats. Yeah, mm -hmm. we know, Maryland. we know, we know Maryland cats. Southern Virginia, so. and everybody, and Southern Virginia cats, right? Mm -hmm. And and we all know each other, and we know now it's more of us, I believe. You know, now yeah, it's it's, it's it's more. But at the same time, you still gotta filter. Who you know is legit. OGs, like who, who's been doing Not it really, Yeah, that too, and just the ones that you know takes it serious instead of the ones that, oh, yeah. that they will buy the shoe, but at the same time, they'll buy the shoe, but when nobody buys them, they're either going to return them or it's just... And you know a few cats like that probably. Hell yeah, I know plenty of them. <laughs> like, it's, it's sad. It, it's yeah. real sad. Like, it, it came to the point where some stores, they had to start 
Yeah. Stamping I mean, the receipts like no returns. Yeah, Full Locker does it. I yeah. mean, PG, PG. Plaza. All the PG Plaza stores, yeah. right? No returns. And PG, for people that don't know, PG Plaza is located in Maryland. Yeah, Maryland. Maryland. That's like the top selling mall as far as sneakers. They, they, at it? one point in time, they were in, at one point in time, they were getting every release. Like Tyson's. Uh, at, limited. At one point in time, yeah. They PG, were bigger than Tyson's. Yeah. yeah. Tyson's, Tyson's, Tyson's stepped it up. <laughs> Tyson's stepped it up. Tyson's in Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia. And then, um, but yeah, PG, at that point in time, PG was that was that mall that got everything. So if you wasn't getting your stuff, if you was getting your stuff, nine times out of ten it was coming from PG, or unless she was ordering from East Bay. Or so so us us and that's that's how me and you met. We met Believe in Line, I guess. And it was either that or well, I knew you was working at the shoe store. You was yeah, working at Foot Locker. I was working part time Foot Locker. Yeah, Foot Locker. There, then, and then I met you there. I met you through the. Then we met through we the, the Facebook, Facebook group. On Facebook, there was a Facebook sneaker group. Yeah, if you're not following Facebook, if you are following <laughs> Facebook. Uh, we are admins for that, so if you are dog, I have an admin that shit. If you in if you dog. rocking with the movement, <laughs> yeah, the make movement. sure you follow the go D ahead, shout the movement the out, dog. DMV addicted to all things it's fresh. Right. So shout out to some of the men. Shout out to the, the, to the OGs. D, no. D started it, right? Yeah, D. D, I was the you, second admin you, ever on yeah, that shit. D, you, myself. Now D was, when D was an admin, yeah. son, he was... Yeah, that, he was admin. That then. dude was ruthless. Yeah. That dude used to snap yeah. necks and he kick was, people he out. Them. Yeah. yeah. And then you took over. I mean, yeah. honestly, I do you over. still do it? Yeah, that's the man. I still admin. For real? Yeah, that's the admin. Um... It, it's, it wasn't, it's not what it used to be, but at the same time, I still try there's to There's still people relevant. on there? Yeah, there's still some OG members. Like my I'm man. about to go in there. I'm about to oh, go in there this week and just be like, yo, where my Yusuf. OG members at? Yeah, OG, yeah. Diego, Yusuf. Uh, as, much, as, much, uh, as much. Matthew. Yeah, Mateo, yeah, Matthew. Yeah, man, Matt, here in Cali now, BJ. Yeah, as much as people hated him, Justin Colley. Yeah, Justin. I, I've always hey, been cool with you. Yeah, I've always been cool He never cool did me wrong, but he, did, he, he done some dirt. <laughs> Dude, but, um, it's, it's a small, it's crazy, and everybody's from different areas, DC, yeah, Maryland, all, all Virginia. But we know these names yeah. of people that were just collectors, and yeah, man. And, so, and and a lot of them have moved away from the game. A lot bro. of them, yeah, they're all just they're not into everybody it. growing up and having kids, and there's like, a few of us that still, it's still BJ and Matthew, they're in Cali now. Yeah, yeah, it's a few of us that still chasing yeah. this, this I'm, finest. I'm one of them. Yeah, I'm one I'm of them one too. Of them. God damn oh, it, so I'm still, still holding it down. Stuck, stuck in the game, Yes, dog. sir. Yes, sir. But, uh, we're, like, we're like the Vince Carter of this shit. God damn. But um, as far as the reselling, it didn't get serious until like, mm, like I said, a little bit after I graduated high school when it started, it stopped just taking care of the inner circle and then people where I was working at were seeing what shoes I was wearing. They was like, yo, how'd you get those? I, I can't get my hands on I was like, I can take care of you. I just make a little was, cash, make a little pay for pair. And at that time, it wasn't no more thirty, twenty-five dollars. It was more like fifty, sixty over retail. Started going back. It's got a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, so up. I'm like, all right, well, for my services, because I was traveling more. I was going to PG a lot, gas, and just standing in lines for a few hours. So People it, don't realize, like, the uh, area you live in, Virginia, to PG is a good what. Uh, for like a forty-five minute drive from yeah. from it's still a drive. Yeah, it's still a drive. And then mind you, you gotta be in line. And you and you and you a caddy guy, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know so gas was. That's so I know his gas was. <laughs> yes, tickled, yes. Dog. And I, then I have people with me, so that, you know, I have my cousins, some good friends. So we we it'll take forty-five minutes to leave Woodbridge to PG around five thirty morning. They won't let you in till seven. And then you still gotta wait to get the shoes. And you so still you, gotta battle everybody else that's there. The cutting, the finessing. So by the time you leave the mall, it's probably about like 9, 30, 10 o'clock by the time and, you And it's crazy mall. because you were you were, you were charging at the time. This is what, like 09, 010? Yeah. At the time, you're charging what, 60, 80 over, over, re, over retail? 60, 80. But this is like and, shoes. And, and what these kids charge nowadays is ridiculous. Is, is and they're not even going. putting in the work like that. Not it's just easy. They don't understand how how hard it was right Cause, yeah well i was in that generation i was in that era where first come first serve everything was first come first serve you loved it right i loved it because at that point in time i was getting there on time i had people so i knew i was guaranteed something but then when all the people I, I, I'm not going to say all my uh, people from D.C. or Maryland have started this because it, it, anybody can cut line. You can cut line at the club yeah. and start a riot. So when people start cutting the lines and... That's they, when, that's when, it that's changed when from, the raffle game came in. That's when, people, that's, when, that's when stores start raffling because people were getting robbed. People were starting fights over yeah. people cutting lines. Crazy up in there. I don't have time to step in 
Yeah, people are already trying to fight and everything. It's not even worth it. One of the first pairs. What's what's your name, sir? Curtis Solomon. I, I, I'm a shoe connoisseur. I've been getting shoes. It was crazy out here. Like, you know, me and a group of my friends, you know, from Lakewood, we get a lot of money, so it's nothing to us to buy shoes. Little kids out here couldn't get the shoes. I seen little kids crying because they can't get shoes, though. Oh, uh, one mama was in tears because she couldn't get the shoes for her kids. You know, it break our hearts out here, though. But you know what? The get money boys, we do have some shoes. We are selling. So parents, look us up, you know. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, so it was like, all right, well, screw y'all. And this first come, first serve, we was going to do a raffle, so we alleviate the... I mean, the dude, fights, the... I, we've been there. Well, yeah, I've seen it. You've seen fights. Seen, you've seen the line. I, seen, you, I know you've been in releases where they've been canceled. Yeah. And, seen. And, it, and it's crazy how it, 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 this led up to the, the, the phone raffle that we yeah, got going yeah, on yeah, now yeah. With, with a lot yeah. of the companies, yeah, the, with the Nike sneakers the Nike raffle. Sneaker app, um, it, 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 okay. It's crazy. Yeah. It, it's, it's how the game has changed, bro. It, it went from there. It went from first comp to ticket raffles. But even though... It's always a loophole to where people finesse. Remember and, the easy, and, and remember that, the easy two raffle. Yeah, man. How the, many people? The whole hood, the whole the, DMV, DMV came was there. Out. It was and like, it was at the DTLR in um, Minnesota. Minnesota Ave. In straight, DC. Like straight, how many people though? I say a good two thousand plus. Yeah, I never seen. That's that's probably the biggest release I've ever seen. You? Yeah. That like was, I've ever been a part of. No, nah, it was. Much, it had to be more than nah, two thousand. It, it definitely was, but it was at least that three thousand people. That was the biggest. Raffle. It looked like a mini. It looked like it was like a like million, a, million a, man march. Yeah, million man march. Just, I've just never shoes. seen so many people there. That in the galaxy, the the whole galaxy release. Uh, that's that was sloppy, bro. That Especially in this area, sloppy. it was being like a foam area. They canceled that joint like three, four times. I mean, you gotta be honest. At the end of the day, we know who got it. Employees. Uh, that they, they got the tips that they 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 they. Um, I was pumping gas across the street from the mall, PG, and. Um, it was a Tuesday, and they randomly released them. And you was there? I was pumping gas at the gas station. I didn't know they released them until I saw people come across the street with bags. I was like, what released today? They was like, yeah, uh, the Galaxy phones dropped. You was like. So I'm across the street from the mall. I'm pumping gas. I left my gas. I, I, I locked my door, kept the nozzle in the gas, and went across the street, got me two pairs of Galaxy phones. No, you left the, the I car left, there? I left my car there. I had to. Dog. You ran. Would, would, you, would you? Yeah, I would have done it too, dog. <laughs> they were, yeah. It was foot action that was releasing them. And then, of course, you know, that's when Craigslist was getting popping. So everybody was putting their stuff on Craigslist. Craigslist it, Facebook groups was jumping. And this, this is, this is this no place. Instagram yet. No Instagram yet. So you, you came in as a full-time reseller around the Instagram era, early Instagram. I was late to Instagram. Like, I was probably like two years behind Instagram at, and... I was pumping everything through Facebook. Okay. Everything was Facebook. Like if you ain't know my my government name on Facebook, you missed you missed out on a lot of stuff. So well, now that now that Instagram is popping and everything, Instagram, I'm, I'm pretty much doing a lot of majority of business. But people know you. The, I mean, some of your clients know you're Soul Trail. Yeah, yeah Soul Trail. They none of them. I don't ever call you. It, yeah, it's like it's like they were like, oh, what's up, Trill? And, like, and when I call you, I call you by your first yeah, and last name. Exactly. So yeah. it's like a lot of the Instagram videos, like, what's up, Trill? What's up, Soul? Like. And I answered like it's my first name. I was like, yeah. hey, what's going on, bro? It's like the whole Loso Do Fresco that started on yeah. Facebook. Though. Yeah, I thought that was your, I thought Loso was your, I thought that was your last name for real. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, this is I'm Olivia like, Del Fresco. Yeah, I, like, I was like, no, it's not my daughter's real name. Right. And my daughter takes it too. She's like, yeah. She's like, I'm Olivia Del Fresco. I'm like, no, you're not. That's yeah, not your real that's name. That's funny as hell. Yeah. But um, but yeah, some people, some people don't even. They just know me as true. They're like, oh, some people just they know the name, but they don't know me. Like, I'd be in lines, and they were like, oh, man, look, man, if I can't get these shoes, I'm, I'm going to have to holler at my man so true. Like, and, and, and you know what's crazy? I well, just laugh. But I noticed that when people hit you, because people hit you all over the country, right? Yeah. Like, some, like you have clients that are not in the clients, area. Clients in the States, up, down, up, east, west, south. I deal with people in Australia, uh, China. I, I mean, love, that's how you know you, you, you're you getting know there, dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, like, it's just, it's just the grind, man. Like. I was never, uh, I was never a fan of taking pictures of myself. I always take pictures of shoes. So, someone was like, "Yo, Instagram will be perfect for you because all you take pictures of your shoes. Sneakers, so yeah. just post them up and start learning the hashtags." I didn't know how how heavy that hashtag game was until you started. I started using them. Yeah. 
And I was like, yo. And then, yo, does, does the hashtags really work for you? Yeah, hashtags yeah, really do I'm work. About to talk about that. Some people really be using them hashtags just to create a movement, or there's a like a. Uh, there's certain uh, hashtags that are yeah, popping. Like, there's so many. He, he gets a lot. Of, he gets a lot of like the unreleased PE stuff. But he's based on. I think he's based on Vegas. But uh, it, anyway, so he create he creates his own hashtag. So everybody uses that. And so then probably, he see you on and there. He sees it. He probably like it and gets some notariz- notarization off that. But um, once I start using Instagram and just it just opened another door of more clientele that that doesn't know you, but they trust your work because they probably yeah. seen you. They probably seen you selling them on Facebook or eBay or any other platform or. Kicksify. Kicksify. Kick, yeah. uh, Kicksology. Kicksology. Oh, all that stuff, man. All that stuff. Humongous. Yeah, I used, I, used that. I used that hashtag, actually. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, all that, all that plays, and then it all comes down to trust. Like, if you're using PayPal invoices, they'll write, they know that you're serious. But if you talk about, uh, I only take Cash App, Western Union, that's a red flag. Just, just don't touch it. But if you using... PayPal. PayPal invoice. Invoice, and, and yeah, that's 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 made. So now that, that you're in the sneaker game and, and we got Instagram is popping, mm-hmm. Twitter is popping. Yeah. Now you're getting more now you started getting heavy clientele. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nah, I'm getting uh some good not- notable people um that reached out to me to get them out the way. Uh, I've taken. I've took. And you care. Bit, you've bit, built relationships to get yeah, pairs. Yeah. Built. Uh, yeah. Especially with you know, uh, I'm not gonna throw none of them out. <coughs> there, but a lot of the retail chain stores, I take care of them. They take care of me. Um, Cause a lot of that stuff. What do you mean the retail? Like like the employees like, there? Like employees. Um, f- like the, from the most from the retail chains that most people go and shop and get shoes from. Cause all that stuff play hand in hand. Cause I mean, I ain't gonna talk too much about it, but you take care of them, they take care of you. Like it, it, it can be even buying shoe cleaner. Who uses shoe cleaner? Like I don't use yeah, that shoe cleaner. Nah. I, but in a lot of that shoe you cleaner buy, ruins. It your... ruins the shoe for the most part. Yeah, it and, does. and the that little that little top with the bristles, the bristles break yeah. after a couple of uses. So it's just that because you're helping them with the commission. Like people don't know, like the more accessories that you buy from them, the more shoes come into the store, the volume. Oh. So you take care of them on that part, on that, and they'll take care of you as long as you show up on an everyday basis buying something. It could be T-shirts. I can't tell you how many how many un unworn T-shirts I have in my that's still in shopping bags that I just take care because they get a commission off that T-shirt sale, and they see that. And as long as I take care of them, or it could just be. Just buying them a simple breakfast, like you want some, you want an egg and oh, cheese sandwich. Yeah, I do that all the you know time. What I'm saying? You want some donuts, especially some on the coffee, f- especially on the first come first serve. Yeah, on a, on a release that you know they, they can't step away. It's about building relationships, exactly. and I've noticed that it's mostly the older collectors it's, it's that, older, that we that, build that, relationships. That do yeah. These kids, the kids don't give. A they don't fuck. care. They they not they give they a fuck about. They, they, they just want your, they just want this shoe, and then after that they, anyone, don't, anyone, they, don't, they don't even say thank you. Yeah, they just leave. But person like me, I'll grab. X amount of these, and then I'm like, all right, well, what you want? You want some? Do you want a shoe? Do you want a shoe out of this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Is there a shoe that you couldn't get that I can possibly get for you? And then you do that favor, it comes tenfold. So just little small things like that. And sometimes it boils. It might come down to paper, but you know somebody might be able to spend a little extra bread just to get their shoe because that's what people are doing now. Yeah. Excuse me, because all these raffles, I'm, I'm, I'm just keeping it all the way funky, like. Not everybody's wearing their shoes off raffles. Like the yeah. the whole people buying shoes under the table, back door and system, like, so who uh, you like know, it's real. If, if you got it's, the money, who you, got, you if, know. If you got the funds, if you got the funds to to buy this shoe, probably what, one sixty in the store, but if you're able to What's get What's the resale on that right now? The resale probably on these is like seven hundred. Seven, seven hundred, eight. Eight hundred, depending Depends on the size. On size. Yeah. So let's say this shoe, you at the store. And the dude was like, yeah, I got, I'm, I'm getting like 12, 15 pairs of them. And the dude was like, look, let, let me save you a headache, and I'll give you $200 per shoe. And the dude thinking like, all right, well, that will alleviate a big headache. I don't have to do a release. And he doesn't have to spend any of his money. Don't have to spend no money. All he has to I'm do is make, let you get them. He's making some money, yeah. and all he got to do is just give him the shoes. If not, he would have been giving them away for free and make no money. Right? He's going he to make some money for the store, but as yeah. far as like... For I mean, him. Sometimes for him, he's not making nothing. But and you're giving him 200 a month. Uh, he can make an easy 
two G's just just for getting me. Cause out you got there. your you got your hands on this. I got them. Got my hands you, on these. You got my your hands, hands on these. I got my hands on the purple lobsters. Yeah. So I mean, luckily I got these and those off uh, sneakers. Sneakers up. Yeah. And then that's but that's these. Yeah. It took it took a while to get those. Um, with all the raffles and then the first come first serve. And another thing that's killing the game is these damn uh, robots, the bot systems. Bots is... Man, them bots, man, which is people that don't know what they are. It's just pretty much a program. And the program does the buying for you online. You don't have to, because, you know, back and you in know, the day, And you know what's crazy? A lot of these kids, a lot of these people with bots is kids with money. Yeah, but which is kids crazy. Money or, just, or, or, maybe, or maybe somebody just knows... How to program? Program. Or not uh, how the computer guys are in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And, and the people that just just know computers. So, so hold something. on. So sneakers is sneakers. Uh, the bot. They're on bots are on sneakers. Uh, There's bots for sneakers. Okay. And so it's, it's, I've used I've used the bot to get these on sneakers. And it hit, and, and, that, hit. And, and this was during the drawing. And you hit. Mm -hmm. I paid uh, extra two hundred and fifty dollars for the system to win the drawing for that. And you hit. Mm -hmm. That's so, crazy. It's a lot of dynamics in the sneaker game that's making or breaking whether you can get particular shoes. And also, like besides backdooring, which is common everywhere in the United States or over anywhere it's in everywhere. the world, it's, it's worldwide. Backdooring, it's, it's, so it's not it's not a secret. It's a backdoor. It's There's a, a backdoor for you. It's a backdoor for anybody if you got the funds. And for people to understand, backdoor means selling them. Let's say I own a shop. Yeah, and I'm buying. And I'm home. and I'm telling you, oh, I'm gonna raffle these off. Yeah. So I got 18 pairs. I'm gonna raffle off, but out of those 18 pairs, they the, the people it's probably that gonna be like three legitimate winners. And yeah, three, all. four winners that's going to these raffle entries and everything else. And the rest is it's I'm, come, it's come I'm giving you. it to him. Yeah. And he's paying me. Mm -hmm. And he's making his money. Uh, I'm making my make money. His, and it's the, money. It's and a, there's a back door. A big... <laughs> come on, man. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. It's a win-win situation. And, and it's every shop. I don't yeah. care. I, I really don't believe this. I say 90% of the spots no. are back door. No. If it's, if it's a retail store, somebody in that store is back door. <laughs> Whether it's an employee or manager. And, I don't care who you are. But it's, Remember, you used to get so mad when people talk about backdoor. Yeah, hey, nah. I mean, let's be serious, man. Let's, <laughs> let's be serious. Every every store has a backdoor system. So let me so let me ask you now. So now you in, you in this game heavy. You 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 you're making money. You're you're getting pairs of hard pairs of sneakers that people want. Yeah. What? What what is the game now for 2019? What 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 is your competitor competitors? The competitors as of right now. Who's taking money out of your pocket? Um, honestly, StockX, Goat. I'm not saying they're like big competitors, but at the same time, that's where everybody is using their platform. If they can't sell it on the streets, if it's hard to sell it on the streets, if it's sell the hard on eBay, if it's selling. Hard to sell on Instagram. It's just easier Goat, to sell it that way. Go to StockX because there's already plenty of buyers. There's many buyers and there's, there's so many sellers and not too many buyers. But if you can't sell on the streets, there's more sell, sellers than buyers now. Yes, yeah, more sellers than buyers. Like you can see that when you go to SneakerCon, like SneakerCons, which is a sneaker convention, a big, the biggest one, the biggest one in, um, on, the, on this planet. You see, you see, like. 300 vendors. I mean, you see more buyers, but it's going to be more sellers than buyers because not everybody that goes to SneakCon is buying something. They just want to be there. And want to be there and they want to and just try just, to trade. Just, just and trade, yeah. I love them. But the, but the, as far as competitors, like, it's friendly competition locally. Cause I can name the, the ones, the, the resellers here that I, I know personally cool with no bad blood we just friendly competition we don't even look at it as a competition because sometimes you guys look out for each other sometimes we look at so, each so we, we got so there's other. resellers all over this country you probably know a few of them yeah yeah absolutely um i mean we could name them uh um, decade decade that's good friends of mine um friends of mine too uh decade footwear um windy city soul windy based, city based soul that's Chicago. a big that's a big boy he good dude um uh, 23 push, penny 23 penny awesome awesome dude he shows love all the time. Um, uh, my man, um, my man Tommy, out in Chicago. Uh, my man, uh, Future Sneakerheads of America. Okay. My man, he's he's a good dude. Um, Cali, I mean, 
I mean, there's so many people in Cali that I can name that takes care of me. Um, Dallas. Okay. Um, few people in Miami. Uh, people in Dallas? A uh, few people in Dallas. A lot of the people in Dallas are more like my Asian, my Asian contacts. I didn't know there was many Asians down there, but <laughs> you get the Asian. I connect. love my Asian contacts because they take care of me and I take care of them. Like they and they're you talking about, you talking about spending some money and they do it the right way. They take care of you. You you shop with them. They shop with you, and like you kind of have to learn their blueprint because that's like the way that they're stocking, the way that. They stock their shoes and how they buy for the later, and and reaping the benefits of it's, it. It's, it's basically it's, it's basically um was it's like a stock. It's basically it's you're like investing that. your money into Absolutely, a shoe. Yeah, like this Chicago's, right here. for example, Chicago ones. Chicago I, ones. I, I wish we had them here, but we don't. But um, Chicago's was were difficult to get here in the states. But for what I was told, over there it was difficult. They didn't have. They didn't get any. They didn't. If anything, they probably got five to six. Let me. And, and I think you was at Tyson's. I went to Tyson's to get my Chicago ones. Raffle, yeah, I remember me. Raffle, yeah. I got a I pair. Who I was with? They got a pair for me, and they ended up getting a freaking eight and a half or nine. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I put it on eBay for eight hundred dollars, and it literally sold to a guy in China. Yeah. Literally sold in two minutes. Yeah. As soon as I put it on eBay. It's crazy. And, um, because they didn't get it, right? And they didn't get them. And if they did, it was very low number. And, and it's crazy because a lot of the outlets got the kid sizes, remember? Yeah. And remember, yeah. see how much the kid sizes got go for now? They're going more than six, seven, seven hundred, eight hundred for for a for a, a kid's four. They're going more than some five. Of sizes. Yeah, more than men's sizes now. My uh, when I it's just the rarity. When I had them, um, when I had the, I had like a good 10, 15 pairs max. And um, my Asian, my Asian clientele, they were paying five hundred dollars a a pop, no questions asked. They were like five hundred dollars each shoe, so that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a crazy Jordan one when they re-release it. You do when it comes back. And I heard, I that, it, I hear, I'm hearing that it's coming. The retro. It's I'm, coming. I'm hearing. Yeah, it's, it's coming. coming. It's everything Jordan. They retro and everything it. else. It might it's well coming. Back. It, it, like, the Chicago one is coming again. And it's probably gonna be a lot more pairs now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's I'm not pretty gonna, sure it's, it's gonna be like what they did with the royal ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Royal one. Remember the 2013 versions of the bread ones, the royal ones. Those were hard to get, dog. And then they re released then them again re -released with the soft them. leather and. Well, they 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 turned it when they did the band, the oh. band bread ones with the. You had a pair. I had the original bands because. Yo, I had a chance to get three the from the Vegas the outlet. Yeah, the original bands. They were all sold at outlets. Yeah, and people didn't. They were so out. I had, I had, yo, know, shout out to my boy Seth. Uh, um, I made the phone call. Yeah. He was oh, like, yeah, you can do phone. You was, yeah. you was able to do phone orders at that yeah, time. Yeah, I did. The, well, no, 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 no. They didn't do phone orders for the Chicago ones. Oh, okay. They said they we, we had do, to wait I two do, days. I do remember. Remember, you had to wait like a, I think it was like a one day wait, two day wait. It, whatever happens, Chicago ones were flying. They they were still sitting at the Vegas outlet. The bands, you the band about. ones, yeah, yeah, the band ones, and with the X on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my man picked up a thirteen. He's like, "Yo, do you want another one?" The guy says he could sell me three, and I was like, "No, I just take one." Remember, it was a, what one oh nine. It was one hundred and nine dollars. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And what are those at? <laughs> Shoot, like uh, if you have a, if you still have a DS pair of band ones with the X on like, the back, you are seeing about upwards of fifteen, sixteen plus sixteen hundred dollars plus, and it's at a hundred and nine dollars shoe. Freaking nine dollars at the outlets, bro. Another shoe went to re another shoe. I want to say went to uh, a Jordan one went to um, a outlet. I can't remember what shoe it was. I know the Midnight Navy. Remember the Midnight Navy ones? They were like a, supposedly like a Japanese exclusive or a Chinese. I remember those were outlet only. I think the, I think a Shadow one went to outlets too. No, first time around. Mm -hmm. Remember the 09 pair, I believe, yeah, the soft leather ones? Because I remember Hagerstein had them. So what, was, so what is the most expensive shoe you have resold? I'll tell you the most, the most expensive shoe that I've bought, it was the, the first Air Mags when they did the, um, the, the raffle, the, the eBay raffle. And you bought one? I, well, I won, I won a raffle. I, it wasn't you won a, raffle. a bid I won, on I won eBay? Bid, yes. So how much was the bid? 3600 I spent thirty six hundred for that pair. How much did you fill it before? Uh, or do you still have it? I should have kept, kept it. I should have kept it. I should have kept it. Should have kept it. I should have kept it. Yo, I know we have pairs, but I know it's, uh, it's as a collector, you had that pair. That's like it's damn. Plenty, I should have kept. There's plenty of pairs that I've sold 
And oh, I'm like, I've had so many. And I'm pay. like, I should. Yeah, look I'm at my easy one. ones, though. And the, I still. You still got any? I, I, I still have some, but it took me, it took me like three times of selling each colorway to be like, yo, I need that pair back. Like, my man CJ, he he can tell you because I, I that guy holds on to everything. I need I needed some of his, I needed some of his help on finding a pair for me because I sold a pair on from sneaker cons, and then after. Do you the, finally get a pair? Yes, I, I end up getting. What colors pair. do you have? I have uh, blank. Blanks. Blanks, the Zen Grays, and. You have all three. I think I have all three. <laughs> he yeah. thinks. He doesn't even know. Yeah, I don't wear them no more. Yeah, I, I, I know you don't. Now I just wear slides yeah, I see, and Air I see Maxes. my man walked in. My man walked in with some Flint 13s, yeah, Flint 13s. and I'm like, it has, I can't, it I can't, has I, to match, you know. <laughs> the flex a little bit. Well, we ain't not even going to talk about that star on his well, chest. But fails. him seeing in Jordan 13s, I'm like, yeah. bro, I'm used to seeing you in flip flops, flip flops, or, or infrared 90s. Or and infrared it's crazy because a lot of these, a lot of y'all resellers, I never we, seen. We we just in basic stuff like basic, basic, basic sweatpants, hoodie, and some slides. Or just some running shoes, like Air Maxes or some NMDs. So, Not even crazy stuff. So real quick, I'm, uh, we're going to talk about 2019. Well, I still have to answer your question. What? Um, the most I've bought was the Air Mag. Air Max. And the most, yeah, how much did you flip it for? I flipped them for, I flipped them for a 6100. Okay. So, so you a, doubled, so you made three Gs off them. And I, pretty much. And I sold them to a 15-year-old. Locally? Hmm? And he's $6,100. Gave me $6,100. Uh, Cash, fifteen year old. You know, you know, damn, well, that was that was his money. He I'm, made I'm pretty sure it was parents' money. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was parents' money. He met me at Tyson's Corner Mall, in front of Bloomingdale's, and he gave it to me in a plastic Ziploc bag. He just gave me the plastic bag, and I was looking at just nothing but cash. I was like, you really think I'm gonna just walk away thinking that this is six one hundred? He was like, yeah. I said, no, we're gonna count this together. So we stood inside of Bloomingdale's, the, 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 inside the, between the double doors, okay. and we counted the money on the floor. Mind you, customers are walking in the mall. And you just hit it on the floor. And I'm, on the, I'm in the corner counting cash 6, with, is this, crazy, with this though. kid. And then, of course, security got hip, and it was like, yo, what y'all doing? I was like, I'm making sure that I have all this money before I walk out. They was like, all right, cool, just do it over there, and we'll mind our business. So I was like, all right, so me and the kids sat down. We, we, uh, you looked at the bills. We broke down the cash, put everything together. Fives, tens, fifty, twenties, hundreds, and, and ones. This dude, and we this, kid, this kid went into his, his piggy bank, I literally. Don't, I don't care. Took a I, hammer to that joint. I don't care what he did. And he just threw it in a Ziploc and he's I, I like. I don't care what he did. He gave me six and one hundred. I was like, you can have it. <coughs> and um, we gave it to him. He gave it. DS? They're, they're, what they're, size? They're, they're brand new, size nine. Dude, I'm, I don't My think size. I've ever held a Mac. A Mac. I, it's, I it's, got, a, it's a dope I got shoe. got the movie one. Yeah, it's a dope shoe. Yeah, I remember the uh, the Universal Studios. Yeah, yeah, the and then I, I got the checks on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's was a little that, replica. That was, that was funny. But people, people were buying them and reselling those. Yeah, they, they were, were like hundred dollars. Yeah, and they were what reselling them for three, four, three, four, five hundred in the in the hype. But I uh, still got them. I still <laughs> got the the Air Mags the crib. I wore them just for <laughs> Halloween. You know they making fake fake mags now. How they look? They look close. And that's another thing that's killing the game. A lot of these fakes. Oh, man. Like, you'd be surprised how many, like, I'm pretty you sure. You come across them all the time? I, 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 I'm going to keep it funky. It, it's been some times I came across some fake shoes. And, of course, we as people, we don't want to learn how to differentiate a real between a real and a fake. So it just boils down to self-educating yourself. Like, the, I'm, there's fake these. There's plenty of these fake shits yeah. around. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna oh, hit it's coming. these. Oh, it's already out. I've oh, yeah. seen them. Seen them I'm on Instagram. Sure every shoe you see on here is, is fake. Is, is a fake. It's a fake somewhere, and it sucks. And people are getting got like StockX. They letting some fake shoes slide through their protocol system. And that's what I'm and hearing. It sucks. And like I've goats, not, a little better, right? Yeah, because they got Flight Club behind them. Okay. And Flight Club, they usually they don't play top notch on their security okay. as far as legit checks, but. I've, I had a good. Dude, they make fake stock X pins now. Yeah. You just put Let, labels. Yeah. Go too. Yeah. They make fake stock X. They're actually scanned, dog. Dude, you see I how supposedly that. they scan? I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that at all. But, uh, fake joints are scanned, dog. You learn something new every day. But, uh, it's, it's it's 2019, brother. Yeah. Them, them, them folks that, that we're creating, they're making a nice. And they don't, they don't feel it. They're not ashamed of, of doing it. They just see it as a moneymaker, but you're really killing the. And what you're really doing, you're killing the culture, but at the same time, you're raising the prices yeah. of the real pairs. Because it's so hard to, or so difficult to get a real pair because there's so many fakes. All you're doing is raising the prices up. So, it's a, it's a, t 
to the people that have like legit parents. In a, five years, winning. it's going to be very hard to come across a probably legit, yeah. good condition. Not that, not, that, not that he's not doing no and more. And I warned us a plenty of times. So. He's not doing, I think he stopped with the whole off. Oh, quite. Oh, so it's about to go up. It's over, yeah. It's about to go yeah, up. He stopped, so. Um, Real quick, soul, soul trills. Top five grills. You gotta do top five shoes that you own or do you want? Oh uh, man, grills. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised with my top five. My top five. One, of course, Concords. It could be any year. Thing. It could be Concords or ones. It could be nine ninety five. So it could be the two thousand eleven, which people were disappointed with. But I love the box. I got my pair early from you. Remember yeah. That? Yeah. I remember that. yeah. Shout out to Decade on that one. Yeah. Um, oh, de Decade. Well, for the 2011s, yeah. but the, the new They had a lot of pairs yeah, of those. Yeah, they had plenty. Um, my second favorite pair is Olive Nines. No, but Olive Nines. Olive Nines. You wouldn't... You wouldn't That's a sleeper shoe, too. Yeah. Uh, man, not it's everybody... Like, it's like the Mocha 3. Uh, if if, the, if you like it, you like it. If, if you, you don't, like you it, don't. If you like it, but uh, I love the Olive, the olive Mocha Nines. Mocha 3s. Yeah, I, I'm mad that they're very... Twenty nine ninety nine and like 99 in 2000. Yeah, you know, they, they went You know what, though? Crazy. It grew on me. I think as I've gotten older, as a as a 30-year-old Loso mm -hmm. and an 18-year-old Loso, I, I kind of want Mocha 3s now, but... I'm not, I don't want to pay for. I don't. Well, now you can pay. You can pay oh, one fifty no, for them pairs. That. I'm gonna wait. Till, the they, I'm gonna wait till they hit the outlet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna pay ninety nine dollars, and I'm gonna wait till Nike has a 20, 30 percent off the weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna grab me. myself a seventy dollar mocha. There you Why go. not, right? Yeah, hell yeah. You can um, wear them joints with a nice. You know, it's, it's a weekend. Yeah, it's weekend joints. It's a dad. It's a dad Jordan three. Yeah. <laughs> um. So Concours, Olive Nines. My third favorite pair is the Air Max Neon. Uh, Air Max 95 Neon. Yeah, I think you told me that in the past. That's my one of my favorite. And it's crazy. Did we release last year? Only outside of the U.S. though. You peeped that? Yeah. They did. They did that bullshit and did the Roger Federer's with the uh, 3Ds and the the, 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 the the vapor. The vapor. Yeah. Too many. Too many fusions, yeah, bro. I can't. I hate the fusions. Okay. So um, 95 Neon can never go. My fourth is a pair of low top white on whites. Air Force Ones. Okay. Blanco y Blancos. Yeah. Uh, you can't go wrong. Like I used to buy like four pairs. White Fiers. Year. I used to buy, yeah, I used to buy a pair, I used to yeah, buy four yeah, pairs there's a must. throughout the year. And like the last white on white bo I bought was the Rockefeller. You know what? Um, LA's All-Star Weekend, they did the Taiwans out there. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get, Dude, I still need a pair of those. Yeah. You, you can get them cheaper now. Uh, mm. I don't know. Not in the 12, 13. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, and then they also I did, still need the tie. And they also did the linens. They didn't do the linens. Thing, but they well, did you the know, I, did, I went to New I York love, to get linens. I love the linens. Yeah, I love that. I went That's to New York. I went to Kiv. It was a Kiv only, too. Mm. Remember that? Yeah. It was Kiv only. Kiv Raff when I wanted. And I didn't know. Um, so Air Force Ones, white on whites. Oh, and I need I need the Co Cocoa Pythons from. I, I, I didn't like those. Oh, I love them, dog. I love them. But and then I, once I get my hands on, like, a. Uh, what was retail on them? A hundred? Mm-hmm. Yeah, get my hair. I'm mad how they keep raising the prices on the Air Force One. <laughs> and like, you remember that one rumor where like when Nelly did the the Air Bro. Force One song? It, I like, cannot pay more than one fifty for a pair Air Force One. It was rumored. It was rumored because of that song yeah. that they went up uh, eighty. They went up from sixty dollars to eighty nine ninety nine. Eighty nine. I was like, get out of here. But yeah, they damn it, eighty dollars now. Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. And sometimes you won't can use a coupon on them, right? You can use a coupon. You can use, use yeah. a coupon. And my fifth favorite pair. Um, it took me some thinking of on this one, but um, um, probably people won't. I'm trying to think, man. It's not a Jordan. I had it in my Max 90 Infrared? Nah, I love that shoe, but it's not. you can't top it with a Neon 95. Um, my, um, the Special Forces. The Special Field. Special Forces. Is it Special uh, Jordan 1? Nah. Um, the special field air forces, the highs. Oh, the original, the first one. The olives. The olive joints. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shoe, that resale on that shoe was pretty high yeah, at the time. It's still high. That's still high. That's still hundred right now. In my side. Oh wow, wow, that's crazy. But I can also say, um, then I mean, I, feel, I can go down the list like the Chinese New Year's, the Chinese New Year um, sevens. No, the, the Adidas. Um, okay. Jeremy Scott. The Jeremy Scotts. I remember those. I love those. Um, I got those. Um, Uncles. Uncles, Uncle Dad, the Day of the Dead, the Day of the Dead, bro. Yeah, I, if the, I don't want them to touch that I, shoe. I came across a guy recently that has a 13 talking about 
I want 1100 I looked at it and I was like, bro. I bought a pair off eBay I'm for good. 375 They were one twice. And I was like, I need that. And then I seen one of my other homeboys. He's selling his pair for 900 So now that we have this Nike SB wave, yeah. I mean, thanks to the concept, yeah, Purple Lobs, the staple, nice. the Jeff Staple pigeons, the Panda pigeons. I, I mean, it, it's that. back up. It's, a, it's another wave. And then Travis Scott wearing them. Do you, uh, do you think the wave is gonna fall? I don't think Nike SB can keep up with that 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 wave up, man. That they're thing. gonna have to keep. They're gonna keep. They're gonna we have, have to, to do collabs. They're gonna, they're gonna keep. Have to go back to the collabs. They're gonna, they're gonna have to keep creating these collabs, like the pigeons or the lobsters or anything that was, that was black and purple box or pink. Yeah, like they're gonna have retro stuff probably. Like they uh, have to. like they tried. They, they tried with that Thomas Campbell with the Dunk High. Yeah, and that went up again. Yeah, you peep that? I saw that. Yeah, it's uh, gone. And up. I had a few pairs. And it's crazy. Yeah. Like the way we talk about sneakers going up. Like back in the day, we didn't. We just talk about yo, is it limited? It's like now it's like back in the day, Flight Club was our pre was our price reference. So yeah, so we go to Flight Club and it's like if it's at five for Price Club, we like sell that try to sell price. it for five, yeah, maybe but, a less. but you knew you weren't gonna get Flight Club prices. Nah. Now now it's, people go to StockX because it's, it's the lowest. Yeah, and it's probably the most popular. It's up it's up and down. So people go to StockX and then you know this uh, StockX is what two ninety. Yeah. So you're gonna get a kid that has his shoe and it's. How much you want for it? Two ninety. Yeah, but they'll, they'll use that. But like, like it kind of hurts in a way. It, I ain't gonna say it hurts me as a reseller. It's just something that we as resellers have to adapt and try and find a better way to get our stuff sold. So we, you know, yeah, StockX is selling it for this price, but then you want us to take the not the nine point five percent out of the price. Yeah, for you got to show them what I'm you're like, gonna get. I'm not doing that. Like yeah. you can either have the shoe. I have this shoe right here, right now for you, for, let's say I'm selling a brand new 1500 No, if it's my size, 1600 and I'm selling it for like 18 right now. They was like, well, I can go to StockX or GOAT and sell them for, and, and buy a pair for 15 So I'm like, all right, cool. You can either do that. We can, we, I can just take these and walk my and go your step away, or you can buy these right now, have them in hand. So you, don't have to deal. you don't have to worry about waiting a week. You don't have to. You don't have to worry about. Um, it's two, three weeks. Yeah, it could be longer, or you. It, it might. It might check out to be fake, or they might cancel the order. You don't know. It happens. Stuff like that happens. So you can either have them right here, right now for eighteen. I'm. I'm paying you. It's convenience. It's right here. Like you can take them right now, and you go on your merry way, or you can wait. And don't even get a pair. It might be a fake pair. It might they, the seller might cancel the order because he probably got a better a better deal, and you might be asked out still. So stuff like that, man. Like it, it, it's something you just have to adapt, and you just gotta have to find another way just to be like, yo, you can either have them now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight, go back and forth with you. Like you're either gonna buy them or not. Or not. If okay. you want them, cool. And uh, and but. If the price, if the if my price somewhat similar to Goat's, then we good. But if Goat, might, if this might go down an extra two hundred dollars one day and up three hundred dollars next day. Yeah, so you yeah. don't know. You gotta check on an everyday basis. But so I know you you being a huge wrestling fan. Yes, I've been. and and me too. Yeah, uh, yeah. As you as you can see, I always got my belt with me, bro. Hey, you like Pastor Troy? Bro. Yo, let me tell you yeah, something, brother. Yeah. Me being a wrestling fan. I keep Mean Gene. Um, yeah, recipes. Mean Gene Okerlund. Yeah, yeah, Dog, Gene. that yo. When you watch that Mean Gene Okerlund that uh, like tribute that Hulk yeah. Hogan did, mm -hmm. did you get teary eyed? Nah, I didn't. Nah. I did, son. It I, was like I lost an uncle. You know. Bro. Um, well, only my girl knows this because she was there. When Undertaker lost his first WrestleMania match. You teared up? I teared up. When I think <laughs> Brock Lesnar. So, so right there and then, your favorite wrestler of all oh, my, time, my, my Undertaker. I think we, we Undertaker. talked about yeah, this. Yeah. Undertaker, Undertaker. Is my number one. Shawn Michaels. Number two? Number two. Rick Flair, three. Um, oh, he already got the list. Brett, I love it. Brett Hitman Hart, Brett, four. Brett the Hitman Hart is probably my number one. And, the and best there is, the best there was, and, ever, and the best there ever, ever will be. be. And my last one, my five. The greatest years. technical wrestler, let me tell you that. Yeah, hell yeah. The ex excellence of execution, he says. Yeah, the execution. And D -D -D the excellence of execution. Yeah, and uh, Dallas Diamond Page. Oh, uh, Dallas Diamond Page. I you know he does yoga now? Yeah, yeah, and he slimmed up and everything. He got all the other old wrestlers doing he yoga. He did, now. um... He got, um, did you catch the episode? Yo, what's the greatest tag team of all time, in your opinion? Oh, man. My greatest tag team. 
Got one, dog. Legion of Doom. Yeah, me too, brother. That's my number one. Whatever. Anim Anim yeah. what Animal and Hawk? Uh, Animal and Hawk, bro. Yeah. Road Warriors. Yeah, the Road Warriors. The Road Warriors. To me, they're the greatest tag team ever. Yeah. Hawk Foundation is dope, too, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you look like Anvil. They were hard to, I, I didn't care for Anvil. I yeah, mean, a lot of people didn't care for the I didn't care for him, man. Like, yeah, I, I like I, Anvil. I started, I, I started to understand him when... Hall and Ash were dope. Yeah, Hall and Ash. Ash I didn't really see him as a tag team. They were just like... They were just goons. That was, that, the, that was, they were the, goons, biggest, that was the biggest group. In Dudley the, Boys uh, were vicious. Dudley Boys uh, were good. Uh, Bushwhackers. You know who might be number two? Bushwhackers. I can take it. You, you know who might be number two? Um, um, what's, the, what's the name? Um, the Brothers. Uh, I can't think of them. Not the Usos. No, man. The, the brothers that jump off the... Uh, Jeff Hart and the Hardy Boys. Ah, the Hardy Boys, yes, yes, Hardy yes, Boys yes. might be number two I can, greatest, I can, dog. I can care less about Matt. But Jeff... Nah, together they were fire, dog. I, I can give together Jeff... I can were give fire. Jeff all the... So what do you think 2019 is going to bring for, for wrestling, man? Oh, man. There's so much new talent. It's um, crazy how, how, like, how a lot of the rappers have gotten into the wrestling thing. You peeped that? Yeah. Yeah. I remember... We just I, had the ASAP... What? ASAP... Uh, ASAP Yams Festival. Did you peep that? Mm -hmm. It was in the wrestling ring. Yeah. In middle Barclays. I, I remember back in the day when uh, No Limit... No Limit was uh, took took over uh, WCW's ring. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Um, you know, Floyd, for, yeah. uh, Mike Tyson, all the, uh, well, you're talking about rappers, but yeah, just the, just the, the whole stuff. The Attitude Era. Yeah, the Attitude Era. I love that era, but now, now that all the... What's the greatest era to you, man? Gold, golden, The Golden Era, the Attitude Era, or, or the current current era? We got can't go wrong with the Attitude. I didn't add it to my so much. It was so much stuff that they, that they I, got away I, I love the golden era, and, it, I, and I always love talking about it. But, but the attitude the era was just the attitude raw. Era was just raw. Like That's they, the rock. They got Stone Cold. They got away with DX. They got away with so much stuff that you like now. Dog. They probably wouldn't. Think you couldn't of, be on TV. Yeah, like, now it's now it's a lot of more kids back into it. It's more the attitude it's more, era was it's, like that. It's more PG and, yeah. thing, and, and grown grown men that lived in their mama's yeah, basement. It's, it's more. <laughs> yeah, damn, you're right. You're right though. But uh, <laughs> baby, grown men that grown men that 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 used to just sit in just, in their just boxers, there just watch TV, fucking and, eat tostinos, yeah, a little yeah, pizza yeah, bite joint. Take a bite and it burns the roof of your mouth. Yeah. Uh, yo, so so current wrestlers you bang with right now, dog? Uh, currents, current, current. Um, um, as far as new blood, um, I like um, Finn. No, I don't care. I don't like Finn. Oh yeah, yeah. I like that. Dean. Dean Ambrose. Ambrose is vicious. Um, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. I. I you don't I, care for him either. I hate how he goes back and Before, forth from from, from heel, from heel and to baby good. face. Yeah. Um, for those that don't know, he was a bad guy. Yeah, baby he was face. a bad guy. Baby face is a good always, guy. I always enjoy Samoa Joe. I don't Samoa know is a solid wrestler, bro. Samoa Underrated. Joe. AJ Styles. AJ Styles. Yeah, I can live with him. AJ, uh, bro. Uh, Samoa Joe. Technically, um, dog, I think AJ might be the, the cleanest wrestler in wrestling. Yeah. Um, like, I hate his mom. Is His mom is... Uh, his mom haircut. Yeah, yeah, he got the soccer mom. He got the soccer yeah. mom. Yeah, minivan uh, look. Bob, Bob um, going on. Yeah, but I still rock he's with the uh, vicious, the most vicious. Yeah, man, if you still going, I can still go with Randy Orton. Randy Orton. I mean, he's RKO not still. Blood, um, but he's still rocking. He's still out still there. Um, I can, I can just watch up. Uh, Braun Strowman, Strowman, I rock with him. They need to give him a belt. They need to give him they this need, belt. They've been bullshitting too much. Hell yeah! Like they, I understand why they're trying and to get Finn because Finn technically had the belt first. So they're going back and try to give him back his universe. Exactly. I think he'll. I think. I think. I hope Strowman gets his belt. I need a belt to, I need by the end of the year. I need to. Actually, I had a I had a like for Bray Wyatt. Well, I think honestly, I think Strowman's probably gonna end up getting the. Honestly, just cause, cause Bobby Lashley, I think he'll end up getting uh, into kind of. Oh, uh, that's a. I can't. Stand I can't him. stand him. I, I can't stand, stand him, him with Leo or that little midget. Yeah, if he's with Leo Rush, like and then all the little antics about like get him, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You know, you know, Leo's from this area. Really? Yeah, he's from DC, Maryland. He thinks he's from Maryland area. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's from this area. I thought that that was, uh, you know, because you know, um, besides Batista, the Mojo, Mojo's from this he's area. From Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. Oh, Batista's from Ashburn. Yeah. From this area. Yeah. So, so real quick, man, for all, for all our viewers and, and listeners, yes. where um. Where can they catch you? Where can they hit you up? Where uh, they need any shoe? Because you yeah, can get your yeah, hands on yeah, anything. Yeah, pretty much I can get my hands on anything that you might want old or new. Um, you can either want them brand new or you can get them pre-owned. You, you go find them. I can find them and get them to you. Um, pretty much mostly Instagram at Soul Trill, S-O-L-E-T-R-I-L-L. -L. Soul Trill. Soul Trill. 
Um, if you go to the, my Instagram page, you can also find my Kicksify page, DMV Kicks, uh, with my man Eddie. He's a good dude. Um, he's like another brother to me. Um, I have a, another uh, business collab with my man JR. You probably know him because y'all used to work with each other, James. Okay. Um, he, he got some, the Reup Collection. Uh, that's also on Instagram, the Reup dot collection um show us love there um find me on facebook that's just where i yeah you crack up and do yeah. my jokes um uh whatever and if you see me in the streets just so true on man. twitter too right yeah so chill on twitter yeah or you can just hit me up and i'll yeah, plug you up with the guy up, man. man i use twitter just for like sneaker news i don't really do much business on on twitter i use it just to get a lot of intel i appreciate you coming through today brother appreciate like you always see you know, talking I've been, sneakers I've been, I've, been, I've been excited since <laughs> since you even brought the idea yeah, so yeah we, like, we, i need to talking do sneakers reselling and, and a little wrestling yeah and, we um, can do this all day for real for all me. day and i appreciate you coming and and uh Hopefully we, we we go another episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can probably talk about music next time. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm I'm not as fluent. Go ahead, go ahead. Recipes, recipes, Pimp C. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. All day, UGK, all day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. but, you know, all these rappers here, and they they mean something in some uh, form, legends, some form of fashion. Legends, legends. But uh, it's I, always, I'll put up this, the UG, uh, UGK. Yeah, I got yeah. a UGK records. I'll put yeah. a UGK record. There you go. That's all I need. Riding yeah. dirty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My man Crit. So sure, yeah. yeah. I appreciate yeah. it, brother. Thank yeah, you absolutely. so much. Appreciate you, as always. And Anytime. like I said, catch us on another episode of uh, Bread and Butter. 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 Bread and butter.